Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to zoom into a uh, video in Shotcut. We're just going to get the video in here. We're going to enable the timeline, drag the video clip to the timeline. We're going to show the history so you can see every step and I'm going to open filters as well. All right, so first we need to select the clip and this can be a bit buggy. Also, I'm going to split it here with the S key, remove this part so the intro is gone. We're using a Creative Commons licensed clip by Mario J. Armatos. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to add a filter. So let's try that out. So we're going to press this plus. We're going to press the screen icon down here and we're going to go to the rotate filter, even though that's not very intuitive. We're going to use the rotate filter and we can use the scale to zoom in and zoom out. However, a recent uh, bug in this version of Shotcut, let's see, about Shotcut uh, 18.1.2. This kind of doesn't doesn't allow this to actually work. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to a source monitor, just drag this clip in again. And uh, now if I click on this clip, you can see the filter is gone. If I click on this clip, you can see the filter is gone. So that fixes it. Also, I could just split it and have multiple parts. But I'm gonna undo this split. I wanna zoom in on all of this. So again, I'm gonna add this filter, rotate, and now I can use the scale. I can make it smaller, I can make it bigger. And using X and Y offset, I can uh, change the location to which it zooms in. So, and if we want to um, have different zoom in areas, we can just split it. Then each of the parts retains the rotate effect. And then we can change the zoom, split it again, change the zoom, set values to default. Split it again. Let me just mute this. Uh, let's set this to default as well. And let's see how this looks. All right, so we have four zoom levels in this one. Now we cannot animate this, unfortunately. This means that if we want smooth zoom, we would have to either divide each frame, which would be insane, or we have to use a different tool for now. You can do keyframe based uh, zooming in KDN Live, for example, which I recommend. You can check out my tutorial on that. But if you only need to zoom in on a specific part, just cut open that video, add the rotate filter, scale in and change the X and Y offset as you need it. So if that's all you need, just a static zoom, that is perfectly fine. I hope this helped. Please subscribe if you haven't yet, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, Ciao.